Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a kind of different video. Today we are going to be doing a declutter and clean out of all of my nail polishes. So as you can see, we have quite a few in here. Um, we have a lot of different stuff ranging from like um, little serums, gel polishes, regular nail polishes. A lot of these I've had for like seven years and I know for a fact that a lot of them are probably expired. So we're basically gonna break this down. We're gonna empty everything out. We're gonna go through each one and we're gonna get rid of the ones that are expired. A lot of these I really, really like, but I know I can't use them anymore due to them being expired. So if this sounds like a video that you guys are interested in, then keep on watching. We're gonna have a lot of stuff, a lot of organization, a lot of like you know nail polish sounds before we jump into this we do have a sponsor for today's video and the sponsor of today's video is of course Skillshare so let's go ahead and listen to a word from our sponsors and then we'll jump into the declutter the sponsor of today's video is of course Skillshare. So for those of you who don't know or aren't too familiar with Skillshare, it's basically an online learning community for like-minded individuals who are wanting to learn more about a specific subject or skill. And all of these are done through short online educational videos for only around $10 a month. They have everything from productivity, editing, photo editing, organization, huh? yeah, kind of like today's video, how-to videos, and more. And the best part is there are absolutely no ads in any of the videos, so you don't have to sit there and wait for an ad to skip it. You just watch the video straight through and you're good to go. So if you guys watched my last sponsorship with Skillshare, I talked about a new video editing program. Well, I finally downloaded the new editor and I was watching tutorials on how to do it, but I realized I needed a very, very beginner's video on how to work it. So the video I found is by Ali Saunders and it's called the DaVinci Resolve Photo Editing for Beginners. And it has helped me so much how to open the program, how to import files, how to do just basic cuts and clips and deletes of certain clips in the program, which has been super helpful because I am, I'm just not very good with new programs like this. So it's been really helpful. And since we are coming towards the end of February and we're going into a new month, and for those of you that use a planner or an agenda like myself and you need help kind of organizing it and how to get your life kind of written down and on track, I also found this really helpful video by Kalani Lin and it's called Creating, Organizing, and Utilizing an Agenda. It just, it makes it so much easier to put down all of your to-dos, your thoughts, your appointments, all down in the agenda so it makes sense. So if you're looking to learn a new skill while sitting around at home, because let's be honest, there's really not a whole lot we can do right now, and Skillshare sounds like something that you would be interested in, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. Highly recommend that you guys check it out. It has seriously been so helpful for so many different things for me, and I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these videos to kind of help get my life together, you know, and kind of open my eyes to a new video editor that I will probably learn and create more content for you guys. So it's been great. So if you guys want to click the link, sign up, check it out, you won't regret it. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in trying Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description box will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping to support my channel. So now, let's get into it. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna remove everything out of this little container right here, and then we're gonna go through it uh, one by one. So let's do it. So here are all of my nail polishes um, together and I already know a few of these need to go because oh my god they're so expired so first I'm just gonna pull forward all of my gel nail polishes A 
Okay, so here are all of my gel nail polishes, and these are all by Madame Glam. They used to send me nail polish all the time. Seriously, some of the coolest nail polishes, and seriously, just a really cool company. I really, really, really highly recommend Madame Glam nail polishes. I definitely need to go on and make an order and get some new stuff because this stuff is just so incredibly old. So I know right off the bat, the first one that needs to go is this bright green nail polish or gel polish if you guys have been with me for quite a while then this is going to look very familiar to you because I actually did a how to gel manicure with this nail polish and oh my god it is probably just so expired yeah it's like I don't even know if you guys can see that but it's like just sticky and runny so this one definitely needs to go and other ones that I know are really really old is this one right here it's like a dark purpley color really old I think this actually might be older than the green so I am going to say goodbye to this guy as well just quickly go through some of like the top coats and stuff so I do know that the base coat the soak off base gel I do know that this is still good so because I did use this somewhat recently and I was still able to use it so oh wait is it this one? No, it's not this one. No. So this one is this one needs to go. Uh, this is the one. This is the soak off no wipe top gel. This is the one that I used recently and it still works really well. So I'm going to keep this guy um, in case I want to, you know, cure a nail polish with gel or do a gel manicure. So I will keep that guy. And then I'm going to also get rid of the just regular soak off top gel. I'm going to let go of is this one right here. This one is like a gold old glitter color. I've had this one for years and years now, so I think this one is time to go. Yeah, it's just it's just old and sticky. This color I really like. This one is Call of the Wild and it's a really nice like wolf gray color. I do still like this and I don't think this one is super old, so I think I'm going to hang on to this guy as well. Um, the next one that I'm going to get rid of is this light pink color. This one is in 425. I don't think this one had a name, but it's a really nice like baby pink. I'm pretty sure this one is like ancient. Yeah, this one is so gooey and ooey and just bleh. Yeah, so that one's got to go. Um, I have this one right here, which these were actually kind of cool. This is the Madame Glam Color Change Gel Polish. Now, a lot of their packaging has changed over the years. I do know that they have different packaging for their gel polishes, so that kind of gives you an idea of how old some of these are. I don't think I'm going to hang on to this one. Yeah, it's, it's really, really old. Yeah, this one is super old, just really... Ugh. This one I'm going to hang on to. It's kind of like a dusty rose color if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. Still looks okay. Um, I like to use this color on my toenails a lot, so I'm going to hang on to that guy as well for now. And then the other color, the last gel polish that I have that I am going to get rid of is this one by Madame Glam, and this is in 259. It's just a really pretty purple color. I used to love wearing this one on my on my fingernails just by the smell of them too because they smell almost like alcoholy but of all my gel polishes that you see over here I am only keeping these guys so these guys are gonna go in the keep over here and these guys are gonna go bye bye next let's just go ahead and gather some of my taller Madame Glam nail polish bottles these I have quite a bit of Okay, so here are some of my other Adam Glam nail polishes. I don't know if you can see on the tops of these, but they're they're a little bit dusty. So let's go ahead and run through these. This one, let's see which what is this one? Okay, so right on top here, I have two of these protein treatments, and these I really, really like from Madame Glam. I honestly can't remember which one is the newest and which one is the oldest, but these are really nice protein treatments for your nails, so you put them on and it kind of like nourishes. I am going to hang on to these two because... 
I do really like them and then as I use them I'll just figure out which one is old and which one isn't so I'm gonna hang on to those guys this one I'm gonna get rid of is this one and this is in the shade so nude it is a beautiful like concealer nude basically for your nails it's really really pretty as you can see I did use quite a bit of this but it's just it's so old you guys like it, it needs to go. All right, the next one, this one is falling for you. And oh my gosh, I have not like opened these or looked at these in so long. Ooh, this is like a really pretty coral color. I'm actually gonna hang on to this one. I don't know, I really like it. It's like a coral color, so I'm gonna hang on to that guy. Um, the next one I know I'm gonna let go is this purple one, and this is in lilac madness i recently used this on my toes not too long ago and it was so it was just so hard to work with it was so chunky it was so hard to put on my nails so the next one i'm going to get rid of simply because i just don't use it is this one and this is like a chocolate brown color and this is in the shade chocolate dream i didn't wear this one as much as i thought i would um i wasn't too crazy about the color so i am going to say goodbye to this guy oh the next one that is really Really hard for me to part with is this color this is snow white by Madame glam it's just a pure white nail polish I do need to go on and get a new white nail polish but this one is just like yeah it's just time to go as you can see by like the looks of these bottles and stuff I've used a lot of these quite a bit like this was another one that I really really liked this one is an endless passion it is such a nice like deep deep red color but honestly yeah this one is also pretty expired I don't think I would eh actually eh, no I'm gonna hold on to this guy I'm gonna hold on to this guy I lied <laughs> The next one that I think I'm gonna hang on to for just a little bit longer, that is this color right here. This one was one of my favorites and still is to this day. And this one is in Aqualicious. And oh my gosh, it is just the prettiest like springtime, summertime toe color. I love this one and it actually still feels pretty good. So I'm gonna hold on to that one as well. This one is in Summer Sunset. And this one kind of looks similar to the Falling For You, so I think I'm going to part with this one because I like the other one better. Uh, the next one is this really pretty hot pink color. I have not used this in quite a while. This one is called Be My Baby, and oh my gosh, it is like a true hot pink color, and I think I am going to hold on to this one a little bit longer because it still feels okay, and it doesn't smell too bad either. This one's okay. The next one I'm going to part with is this one. This one is in Vintage Girl, and I don't know if you guys can see, but the color of this one is just so off now because I'll let this one go. Two left. This one I'm really having a hard time with because I really like this color. It's like a true like Cinderella blue color. It's really, really nice. Oh, God, I used to love this one, but I've had this for so long. Oh, it actually still looks pretty good. And it doesn't smell too bad. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to hang on to this one. I'm going to hang on to this one. Um, all right. And then the last one is this one. And this one is called Underground Queen. And it's a really pretty gray color. Also, if you guys are interested in getting any of these colors, I'm so sorry if they don't even sell these anymore. Like, that's how old some of these are. I'm going to keep this one because it's a really pretty gray color. And it still looks and feels pretty good. And it doesn't have too bad of a smell. So we're going to hold on to that one. Okay, I got rid of six, and I kept one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got rid of six, and I kept eight. I don't know if that's good, but next I have a few other little bottles of Madame Glam here. Uh, let's see if I can pull these out. I do know right off the bat these two need to go. They are really, really old. This one is in... Mademoiselle Chic, kind of like this blue uh, metallic shimmery color. Again, this was probably one of the first ones I got from Madame Glam, and it's just, it's so fucking old, holy shit. Same with this red one right here. This one is in Red Dress. I do like the name of this one, but I do like the Endless Passion one better, so I think I'm going to let this one go. 
This right here is a Madam Glam matte top coat and I used to use this all the time. It is one of my favorite matte top coats that I've ever tried. And I'm gonna hold on to this one until I try it again next time because like look how old it is, like the label's all rubbing off and everything. I I don't know if it still works or not, so I'm gonna hang on to it until I do my nails again, which will be soon uh, because as you can see, Mr. Jason is rubbing off there, so we need to redo my nails soon. Then I will try this one and see if it works or not. If it works good, I'll keep it. If it doesn't work good, I'll throw it away. So we'll hang on to that one. And this one, I'm kind of torn because I kind—I really like this one. This one is called Guacamole Fever. I just love the names of their nail polishes. They're so fun. No, I don't really have any other like cool green polishes like this. Let me smell it. Let me give it the smell test. Ooh, okay, this one literally made me feel like I was gonna like pass out. So <laughs> I think I'm going to um, get rid of this one as well. So move on over. All right, guys, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I think the rest of these are gonna be pretty easy to kind of sort through. So let's go ahead and just pull some of these forward. So here is where we have like just some random, random ones. Like we have an artistry one, we have Revlon, Wet n Wild, SC, Sally Hansen. So we're just gonna quickly run through these. I know right off the bat, these two I'm going to save. This is my base and my top coat. So we're gonna hold on to those guys because I do use those quite a bit. The other one that I'm going to hold on to is this Revlon one. I did recently receive this in a PR package not super, super long ago, and this is just a true um, Revlon Red shade, so I'm gonna hold on to that guy as well. Uh, the other one that I'm gonna hold on to is this Essie polish, maybe. I need to give it the smell test, but this is in the shade Chinchilli. I was obsessed with this color for such a long time, so we're gonna hold on to that one. Um, I think, let's see. I have this random artistry one. I don't even know where I got it. A really like interesting color. I don't even know how to describe it. It's called Steel, which I guess is a pretty appropriate name for this. This one is relatively new. I just don't know if I'm ever going to use this. I think I'll keep it for like a toenail color, like because I'm the kind of person where I will wear certain colors on my toes that I would never wear on my fingernails. I'm I don't know, is anyone else like that? I'm kind of a weird person when it comes to that stuff, but I I think this would be a good toenail color, so I am gonna hang on to this one for that reason. And then these two are very different, but very similar at the same time. They're both like these really pretty nude colors, and I really like both of them. So honestly, I think I'm gonna hang on to both of them. This is a Wet n Wild one, and this one is in the shade Private Viewing. Really nice nude color, I'm definitely gonna hang on to that. And this one is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and this is in Buff and Tumble. Really like this one as well, and it does dry super fast, so I'm gonna hang on to that one. I'm gonna bring over my OPI nail polishes that I have. I used to have a lot more than this. One of my favorite ones was the OPI uh, Pink Friday. I used to wear that one all the freaking time. This one I'm going to get rid of because I don't know what the F it's doing. Um, it used to be like a gray type color, and now it's very discolored. It doesn't matter how long or how many times I shake it, it just stays dis discolored. And this one is in You Don't Know Jack, Jack Ace? Jack, I don't know. What does that say? I don't know, it doesn't matter, we're throwing it away. These two right here, I have two bubble baths. Here, bubble bath is a really popular color, really, really nice nude. I have a newer one and an older one, so I think I'm gonna keep the newer one and get rid of the old one. And then next we have these three left. We kind of have this army green color, which I know for a fact I'm gonna keep because I really like this one and I use it quite a bit. This one is called Uzi, the first lady of nails. Really weird name. Oh, this one is really nice, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one, gosh, I don't even remember what this one is. It's called Light My Sapphire. I don't, like, where the heck did I get this? I don't even remember, like, owning this. This is so... 
Ooh, this one's really pretty though. Uh, very interesting. I don't know if you guys can like see on camera what it looks like, but it's pretty interesting. And this one, I'm kind this one I know for a fact is new because my mom recently gave this to me. This one is in the shade My Address is Hollywood, and it's this really pretty coral color, which I like to wear on my toes. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. And the only nail polishes I have left are these guys right here. So I think we're doing pretty good. And I mean, I'm sure as I use a lot of these, I'll be getting rid of more. The next one that I know I'm gonna get rid of is this one. This is the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. This is in the shade Power Outage. I love, love this black nail polish, but I'm getting rid of it because it's almost empty. And I have jumped on the Hollow Taco train and I decided to pick up her One Coat Black. And this one is amazing. So I'm gonna get rid of the old black and in with the new. So I'm gonna keep my Hollow Taco. I'm also gonna keep my Hollow Taco base coat. And I'm also gonna keep my Hollow Taco super glossy top coat. Guys, and we have three nail polishes left here. These are all of my Sinful Colors polishes. And these ones are relatively new. I did get them this year and I know I'm gonna hold on to them. So the first one we have is this really pretty nude. This one is in the shade Hot Coffee. I love, love this color. So I'm gonna hold on to that one as well. The next one is this really pretty like bright electric blue. This one is in the shade Endless Blue, and it's really nice. I'm going to keep that one. And then, of course, I'm going to keep my glitter, which this one is Queen of Beauty. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my fingers, that, like, really pretty glitter. That's what's on there, so I'm going to keep that. Hey guys, so here is the pile of nail polishes that we're getting rid of, and here is the pile of nail polishes that we're keeping. So we definitely kept more than we got rid of. I feel like I should get rid of more, but I just, I can't bring myself to do it. So before I change my mind about any of these, we are going to say goodbye to all of these. So. Bring out my container where I store all of my nail polishes and we're just going to put these guys in and I'm going to kind of organize it. So I think I'm going to do like Madam Glam, OPI, um, Simple Colors, Hollow Taco, Wet n Wild, blah, blah, blah. So um, let's, uh, let's do it. And here is what we are looking like now. As you can see, it is not as full as it was in the beginning. So I think we made a pretty good dent in decluttering. So we're gonna set this one off to the side because we're not done yet. We, we have more. Next, we're going to do this drawer right here. And this one is all of my nail supplies and all of my fake nails, my glue on nails, things like that. Like we just have a bunch of shit in here. So um, first things first, I'm going to take these right off the top. These are some new like glue on press on nails that I got yesterday at the store actually. And these are by Lom Perfect. These are the modern French and they had a whole bunch of these and I got almost all of them. So I have this really pretty like neon green French set. I have a black French set. I have this one, which is kind of like a, um, I don't even know, it, it's more neon off camera. It looks kind of red on camera, but this really cool French set. And then I got this like purple ombre set. So I am gonna keep all of those because I will for sure use those. And everything else, like there's just, there's so much shit in here. Like let's go ahead and just start taking some stuff out. So here is, um, here's what we're looking like. So at the bat, I also have one of these and in here 
is just a bunch of clear nail tips. It's actually what I'm wearing on my nails now. I basically just stuck them on and then I painted them. I'm gonna keep these because I did just get these and sometimes I like to have glue on nails that I can paint myself. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Next things we have in here are a bunch of like, just like nail stuff. I have some toe thingies right here, which I am gonna hang on to because I do use these quite a bit. Uh, the next thing is, uh, ooh, these. These are like my, I always use these. These are my e.l.f. cuticle pushers. I don't even know if they, you can get these anymore. I've had them for literally years. But these are a must for me when I do my nails, especially glue on nails because they help push your cuticles back because you never want to put glue on nails over your cuticles because then they'll lift. So I always use these to push my cuticles back and these are amazing. Definitely going to keep those. I'm just going to get rid of the packaging here. We have two buffing blocks. I'm going to get rid of this one because this one is the oldest one and this one is the newer one. So I'm going to keep the newer one, get rid of the older one. This little guy right here, I got this like, oh my god, I don't even know, honestly, years ago and I used this a lot to um, do my nails but I don't use some of the stuff that's in here like I never use this little nail clipper so I'm gonna get rid of that I also never use these little scissors I just feel like they don't work very well so I'm gonna get rid of those and in here we have a bunch of like little nail files and this guy right here I actually use quite a bit it has this little like curved edge right here so when I am doing my nails and I get like some nail polish I'll just kind of like scrape it off like that so I do use this quite a bit so I think I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna keep this little case because it's just it's so cute and I've had it for so long and I just can't par with it so I'm gonna keep that I'm also gonna keep um Oh my gosh, there's so much shit in here. We have some nail glues in here, and I don't use these nail glues. The nail glue that I use, it's not nail glue, it's actually super glue. Uh, I use the Loctite super glue, and this is seriously some of the best. This is, I literally can wear my fake nails for around three weeks before they start to fall off. So this is the glue that I use, and it's far superior to any other glue that I've tried. So I'm gonna keep that one, and I'm gonna get rid of these, um, these little ones right here all right oh goodness let's see nail files oh I'm gonna keep this little wooden dowel too because that that'll come in handy thing I'm also gonna keep this is a nail clipper but this is for acrylics and this is seriously so amazing and so helpful I got this on Amazon for only a few bucks so I'm definitely gonna keep that because this is a lifesaver I'm gonna keep is my little Madam Glam gel polish light. This is just my little UV light when I do my gel polish. Use this quite a bit, works really well, so I'm gonna hang on to that guy. Also gonna keep this buffing block. Sometimes I will use this on my nails as well. And it's just bigger so it doesn't hurt my hand as bad because uh, I don't want fucking carpal tunnel. And then some of these nail files I can get rid of because I just have so many of them. I have a couple q-tips in here kind of random wow. okay so right off the bat I know that this nail file is pretty old so we're gonna get rid of that one um, I don't like this LA colors one uh, this one is kind of damaged oh I'll keep this one that's a really good one I'll keep this one uh, this one I'll throw away um, this one I'll keep Nah, I'll get rid of that one, and then I'll keep these two, and then these little like brown ones I kind of just got, but I do use them quite a bit, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'll keep five, so I'll get rid of one, two, three, four, and five, and then I'll keep these five. All right, and then the only thing we have left here is just a bunch of nails. Just leftover nails that I've had from like glue on sets. I'm not gonna keep all of them, but I think I will keep some of them. And I actually have extra case like this that I can use. First off, these little Freddy Krueger ones, these little Freddy Krueger nails, so freaking cute. I'm gonna keep those because I will definitely use those in a future set. So, okay, and then some of these green ones, I can just tell that they are way too freaking big. 
So, and they would never fit my nails. So gonna... These like leftover nails, I like to just keep them in case I wanna have like, you know, a ring finger with a pop of color or something like that. I'm not gonna keep all of these though. Like which ones are these? Eight and nine, I'll get rid of those. So there's just some extra nails popped right in there, nice and organized, and boom, we're done. So here's all the stuff that I'm getting rid of out of that box. We have everything done in this one. We can go through and kind of organize it. So I'm going to put my extra nails back here along with the clear ones. Take the new sets that I got, I'm gonna put those right there. Um, I'm gonna take my gel lamp and we're actually gonna put that in the back. Okay, all of my nail files I'm going to put right in the front. My little tonu spreaders, my acrylic cutter, buffing block, nail glue right here, this little guy, like that. Oh my gosh, that needed to be done so bad and it looks so much better now. Oh, so nice. So I can literally just take this out. I know where everything is. Everything's in here nice and organized. So there we have my nail supply drawer and my nail polish drawer. All nice and organized. It looks so much better. This has literally been on my list of things to do for so freaking long now. So I'm glad I finally got it done. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was entertaining enough for you guys to watch and hopefully you had fun watching it. If you did, make sure you go down and hit that thumbs up button. It really does help my channel out a lot. You guys have no idea. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here. But as for the rest of you, I love you guys so, so much. But until then, I will see you very, very soon in my next video. I'm so excited this is done. Yay! All right, I love you guys. Bye!